Hey guys, it's me, Gumplaray 2.0, here with my out-of-box review for the Hydrave 1144 scale Valvrave Hito Innocent Zero Type from Valvrave the Liberator. Now this here is a Hydrave kit made by Bandai based off of the Sunrise produced Meta series Valvary the Liberator, which is a pretty. It was a it was a pretty good show. It had a pretty similar mech, uh, mecha, per, uh, mecha, mecha, so like your typical me mecha anime. But the it did have a slight twist in it where the pilots of the meta are these like pseudo vampire type creatures. There was a lot of like va vampire type stuff in that series, but this is not a review of the show. This is a review of the innocent zero version of the Hito. The regular version of the Hito would be mo would be. A lot of that white that you see there will be in would be in black. This is kind of the version that I believe appeared in the first episode. This is how it looked like before it went before all that white turned to black. And just like the regular Hito, this I mean this is just essentially this the original Hito kit, just with white instead of black. So it comes with the exact same st stuff. So if you have seen a review of the original Hito, or the the, the black and red Hito instead of the white and red Hito, then you know what this kit has in store. But if you don't, I will show off to you guys what this kit includes. And I do have this up on the action base that it comes with. Which you can take that off. He can stand up on it on his own. Even with those wings that are attached to the back. And I just said it can, he could stand up and he fell over. But yeah, he can stand up on his own. No major issues with that. And he is quite tall for a 1144 scale. It. Here I have the IBO read inlays next to it, and this guy towers over that. So, yeah, that is all oh, a pretty tall kit for a 1144 scale model. And the articulation is just. Is oh, articulation on this kit is pretty great. The head can look all the way up like that. There it is. Can move like that. This, gosh darn it. You can turn like all the way around with. No issue. You got two stickers there. There is a sticker for the sort of mouth part, but I left that off. This does come with a. This kit does have a lot of stickers, and I didn't use all of them. A lot of them were just lining stickers for around the edge, edges of parts. You have two on the legs that I used, and then some on the shoulders. 
And then I did use the two that are on the back. And you have a couple on the arms. The torso, getting back to the articulation, the torso can move around like that. This part moves. Shoulders are to move like that and out like that. Arm up about that much and bend like there. Wrists move almost all the way around. I mean with this hand. This is your open hand that you do get and it it does have some movement in the fingers. Arms getting tired. And you can you can also move it like that and there is some swivel there. Legs due to the wings. Probably can't move back that much, but it can move up pretty high. Double joint in the knee. Nice armor, knee armor separation. To move out about that much. And there you got moving the foot. And these wings can move like that. I don't want to fidget much, but yeah, the articulation is pretty great. I mean, it's pretty great, really great for this kit. I mean, it's not like ultra um, ultra flexible it doesn't have if it had an inner frame up in the thighs then it would have a slight full inner frame that was something I was actually kind of surprised with while building this is the fact that it has that it incorporated a um, a bit of an inner frame, not not like a almost a like a complete one like in an IBO kit, but it but like I say, if it had oh an inner frame in the thighs, which it doesn't, then it would have a full inner frame, except for in the head. But yeah, let's. Now let's cover the accessories, now that I'm done with the articulation. And I will put this back up on the action base. And I'll have the wings out for this portion of the review. Now I did use these stickers on the shoulders. You do have the little valve rave symbol right there. You do have clear parts on the heels and on here, and a lot of the accessories are clear parts, including this fat part that plugs into the back of the heel, which I do not want to plug that in. You do have this fat part for the arm, and you could plug in. You have this other holding hand with a claw shield that I will, and you just swap that out, swap that in, and you got yourself a shield. You also have these swords. And they do have um, the sheet of the scabbard, I mean the sheaves that you put them in. And these are in, in clear, you do have to paint 
the handles yourself and those can just plug into the side skirts which these can move I forgot to talk, say that in the articulation but you plug that one up there and these do ha are on a little hinge there's a ball joint you do plug those in like that but due to the way that the wings are they will f fall there's a way to get them on there without that but I just don't want to fidget with that there are a couple of little these knives up in there but they aren't really accessories but they are part of the kit which is kind of nice it would have been nice if they were accessories and these swords can fit in the hand without tape without really now you do have to t I don't know, I think you can s well these can fit in the hand there you go without taking them apart you did a short one and you did a longer one and you also get these two clear sickles which you also have to paint and those can also fit in the hand and the main accessory is this huge ass gun with this clear 